Good morning, sir. Good morning. So what are we protesting? Not protesting anything, sir. What's going on? We're here exhorting our brothers and sisters to love and good works. We're in the midst of a holocaust, sir. Is there, are, we, are you guys think that our church supports abortion? Is there? No, no. We don't think that at all. We know. We're, I'm, I'm very familiar with uh, Pastor Swindoll. Yeah. We don't think you support abortion, but we also don't think uh, that you really take it for what it is. Because if you were serious about uh, what has happened in the Holocaust, do you think that your response to it is as it should be? Let me put it this way, if, the, if somebody was going to go in there and take 2,000 of your children out of the children's ministry and kill them today, what would your response be? So what should my response be? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you what it should be. What should I be doing? Well, I actually I would think you would stand against it. I do stand against it. How does, how's that look? Let me right. give you some of this. Okay. What, you know, we ask people all the time, what does your Christianity look like in a culture that murders over 3,000 of God's image bearers every day? So, t you tell me what I'm supposed to do. First off, I can't tell you, I'm not doing I you. can't tell you what you're supposed what do you to do. do. What do I do? Well, I do a bunch of stuff. I drop card, I stand here, I stand out of clinics, I stand out in front of schools, I stand on street corners. I do stuff online. I do a lot of stuff, but I'm not here about me. Yeah. I'm here about you or anybody else, and I'm asking you. I mean, if if if. So if I'm not standing out on the street, I didn't then say, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Again, again, don't put words into my mouth. All right. If that's what the Holy Spirit is telling you, then yeah, you should be convicted. So don't you think what you guys are doing here makes it look like our church? I mean, basically. You pull up to this church. This is this is abortion church. This is what you make this look like by doing this. Like this is abortion church. We're we're sitting here speaking so, out against this church by doing this. So, first off, we're not speaking out against this church. Second off, um, what what image should they have of this church? Put it this way: we had a bill HB nine forty eight, totally making abortion illegal in the state of Texas. Yeah. Okay, less than a thousand people showed up to support it. What does you, and, and and this is a very very valid question. What does your Christianity look like so, in a culture that kills over three thousand of so, God's so image I'm, I'm bearers every so, day? So I'm believe me, I'm anti-abortion. The only the only issue I have with all this is standing out here making this church to everybody that goes by look like what's wrong with that church? They must support abortion at that church because look at look at these people. They're boycotting this church. They they support that's that's the problem I have with the, what you're doing here uh -huh. because so then you 99. probably nine percent of this church agrees with your cause no but you're out here making it look like you, you don't you see there's a big difference between having a good moral opinion and actually doing something like your orthodoxy might be very good but your orthopraxy really so if I don't stand on a street corner I didn't and I don't that. get online and I don't sit there and make this my my life's purpose then I'm not doing what I'm doing because this is the only thing that we can do is is this no this isn't the only thing we can but do that's what you make it look like it's what you make it sound like what am I doing oh I'm online I'm doing this that you isn't... asked me and I also told you that what I'm doing might not be what you do okay. see when well, you when you, you actually what you're doing is not what I'm gonna be doing I'm not well, gonna be standing on a street corner in front of a church that is against abortion. How is it against it look abortion? Like this is the murdering church. How this is it is wrong? How is it against abortion? You see, I used to be just where you are. I used to say, "Hey, I vote every four years. I fill my baby bottle once a year. I'm good." Okay, but then I realized if they were going to take my wife to be killed, would I say, "Well, I filled a baby bottle of change." I did what I was supposed to do. I voted for a guy who said it was it, so it was you're wrong. The person, you're not you're not really you're not gonna be the person that's content until you kill somebody over this. That's where you're gonna be. Until I, I take, kill somebody if, over if this? If I don't take some that's where you're at. Then you're like, oh if 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 if, if, if you're taking people down, I need to be you're you're the one that does that. That's where What does true. God's word say? Are we supposed to stand in the gap? Are we supposed to protect those being led to slaughter? Yeah. Or are we supposed to say, Hey, I pray? What did Isaiah? Okay, so here, I mean, what did Isaiah I say in chapter one? I don't have a problem with what you're doing, what you're standing for. What I have a problem with 
is where you're doing it right. Of course you do. Of course you do. Nobody why, likes why to why have their apathy pointed out. Why? <laughs> it's not apathy. Sure it is. It's because we don't wear this on our shirt sleeve. No, it's because you're not doing anything. Tell me, I asked you, how many times have I asked you? What does your Christianity look I'm, I'm, like? I'm not standing on a street corner. I understand that. I understand that. But what does it look like? If they were going to take this security guy and murder him, what would it look like? 